I think everyone knows by now that I'm pretty divested community adjacent. Um, so I hang out with a lot of divested women, swirling women, pro-black love women. I'm subscribed to channels across the spectrum. I can't help but notice people in the comment section. They're just like, oh, I just want to ask a question because I just want to understand divested women. And I just, I just, and I'm just like, how come you need to do that, but I don't? How come you need to do that, but I don't? It doesn't take a divested woman to understand a divested woman. They're speaking points. I've done several videos profiling divested women, uh, giving commentary on divestment women, delineating what I think divestment is. And I'm not divested. How is it that you guys need to go into their comment sections and it it, it just gives disingenuous, it gives troublemaking, it gives problem starting. There is so much content out there. There's so much content out there by divested women, by women who want to be divested but are not yet. Like, like all kinds of things for you to watch and learn. It's like you guys are walking into 400 level courses asking 101 questions. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? You don't have to do that. If you want to get it, just watch a video. I will link some of my videos below, but again, I'm, I cannot be a spokesperson for divested women if I am not divested. I cannot be a spokesperson for sovereign women, for swirling women, for, for pro-black love. Like I just, I don't, I'm not beholden to any of these labels, right? Nothing wrong with them, but I just believe that it is a commitment um, and it takes, you know, a level of integrity to commit to the principles of a certain, like I can call myself something else, right? Um, <sighs> yeah, anyhow, <laughs> I just got a pretty cool message. I'm going to go ahead and check it out. But, um, y'all are being silly, you know, good and well. That all it takes is to watch a couple of videos and figure it out. I'll leave some of my videos below. And I will also leave some channels of divested women below. You can just watch in the clouds. It really doesn't take. It's just like being in a lecture hall. Right? Where maybe you can't ask your questions. Maybe you can't talk to, to the professor. But you can listen and take notes. You can. You can listen. Take notes. And be like, oh, so that's what it is. I just think you guys are trying to get into arguments, trying to fight, and I, I don't understand why you want to fight with women you don't want, right? And that's another thing. It's so odd to me. It is so funny to me that black men interracially pair themselves at three times the rate of black women, but have a problem with swirling black women and not swirling black men. It's, it's the craziest thing. They date interracially. If you compile every single man in America from every ethnicity who interracially pairs himself and then put black men on the other side of the scale, black men will outweigh them. They swirl more than all men combined. But there's somehow criticism of black women who swirl, are sovereign, open their options, are divested. X, Y, Z, right? Because there, there's nuance. They're not all the same. Why? You've proven over time that as a community, you don't care about these women, especially the ones that are dark-skinned. Why do you care? Why does divestment bother you so much? You don't want these women. I see married men in some of these comments. You're already paired. You already have somebody. What do you, why do you, why do you care? I remember talking to a pro-black love guy Telling him about how black women outnumber black men by over 2 million. And he was just like, basically like more for me kind of attitude. And I'm like, so you want to, you want to consent to these women being public property and pass arounds. Before you see them, you know, hop the fence. It's weird. Selfish, sadistic, alarming, red flag. 